tonight. You loving this new at new digs we got here? This is great. Let's have a hand for all of our other performers tonight. You guys have been awesome. Let's see here. We've had gorgeous, graceful dancing. We've had uh, captivating storytelling. Thank you, Dorian. We've had these awesome acts of, of skill, like circus that I can't even <laughs> dream of. And then we got this. I'm gonna start a little a new thing from now on when I, when I perform. Anytime you see me strike a dramatic pose, I wanna hear, what the hell, monkey? Okay, let's practice, shall we? I think you guys got it. Y'all ready to get started? Yeah. Let's start with my favorite circus art. One of, one of the classics of Sideshow, shall we? You guys know what time it is? Yeah. Hammer time! Yeah. <laughs> that's right, we have a hammer, but that's not what's important here. What is important is this. Right here. You there, man with the green hair. Yeah, can you just step right on up here? There we go. Can you hold that up for everybody? Just look right there to that spotlight. Can you tell me what that is? A steel or an iron nail. A steel or an iron nail. Can you try to bend that for everybody? Okay, yeah, can you see if that, that collapses? Push it on the sides. Don't cut yourself. So what you're saying is that is a completely real nail. All right, thank you. Everybody give her a hand. Oh, well, all I can say is the nail's real, the hammer's real, it's the head that's fake. Let's do this, shall we? This is the human blockhead. Ah, oh, it's a nice night. Let's go for a drive. Uh, uh, uh. I kind of like when they do that. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, slowly. Uh, uh, uh. Oh God, what am I doing with my life? Uh. Oh, that was fun, yes? Was it stupid enough for you guys? Good answer. Whenever I do sideshow, people are always asking me, how do you warm up? How do you get ready to just damage your body like you do on a weekly basis? And the simple answer is diet and exercise. Who'd have thought? But I'll reveal tonight, I'll reveal to you tonight exactly what that entails. Beets, whole beets. Beets, they're good for you. Cans are good to exercise with. And I'll now demonstrate that to you right now. Souvenir! You two can be as healthy as I am. Oh. Fun, yeah? Starting to get there? Not stupid enough for you guys? Well, this next act is so stupid, I can't do it by myself. And for that, I'm going to need a volunteer. And there's a little bit of a mantra for finding a volunteer. First, you find the most attractive, buff-looking guy in the room, spotted him. And then you just beeline for him, right? Eyes on, excuse me, you don't step on anybody. You stand right in front of him, and you grab the attract with the woman next to him. <laughs> Everybody give her a hand. First things first. Hi, my name is Monkey. This is your uh, first, time, first night here, right? Uh, have we ever met before or even spoken before this moment right here? 
<laughs> no, she doesn't have to look so relieved by that either. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Ruth. Ruth, everybody. Oh, now what I need from you, Ruth, is to pick out one of these arrows. Any, anyone, it doesn't matter. That a good one? Okay. Now, can you look along the edges of that and make sure that it's not notched? It's not been altered in any way? That's a real, real tar target arrow? Whoa. Yes? Hey, now. <laughs> awesome. I call this next act the human tracheotomy. What I'm going to need from you, dear, is I'm going to need you to, to stand and face me with square shoulders, with your legs separate. Go ahead and take a half step back. And I'm going to need you to hold this with your arms straight and, and, and like really solid, really solid form. You think you can do that for me? You can put a little pressure on there to practice? Good, good, good. And next, we take the arrow. We put the fun point on the point of my neck. I know what you're thinking. And you're right, I am an idiot. All right. The only way I can break this is if I can hear each and every one of you behind me. Ready? On three. Ready? We can get stupider, don't you? Yeah. She thinks we can get stupider. I think we can get stupider. Let's keep her go. Like keep it going. But first, we need to bring back the hammer. And I'm gonna let you hold on to this. You have no clue what's coming, do you? <laughs> That's the best part. Uh. What do you think that is? What does that look like? A light bulb. A light bulb, and it's unopened. Yeah, you know, go ahead and go ahead and open that up. Show that, show that for everybody. Show that to everybody. Just hold that up. All right. Not edge or anything. That's real glass. Well, Ruth, I've got a secret for you tonight. See, I haven't eaten before the show, and Russ thinks I'm a horrible cook, and he bet me that I couldn't make a 30-second meal, and I told him he was wrong. You gonna help? You ready to help me change that tonight? Good, good, good. What I'm going to do. Hold that light bulb right, so that every you and everybody else can see it. I am not a magician. Frankly, I'm just not that subtle. Right. Goes right on top like that. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strike a pose. And I'm going to set this right here. What I'm going to get you to do is go tap, tap, break with that hammer. Please, 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 don't miss. <laughs> okay, you ready? One, two, three. Ah. Ah. Oh, that felt pretty. Oh. All right, Ruth, now, come take a step right up here. And what I want you to do is point at the largest piece of broken glass that you see, besides that one. <laughs> that one, oh, you couldn't have broke it sound smaller than that? Can you raise your hand up for everybody? <laughs> now, the other hand. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your help. Everybody give her one last hand. Thirty-second meal, like I said. The adult human mouth has 32 healthy teeth. This is the sound of all of them breaking. You gotta chew your food, man.
what? It was a lot of glass. My name is Monkey Jacks. I am with the Circus Freaks, and I hope you guys have a hell of a night. <laughs>